Well, the summer months very popular for packing up your stuff and moving to a new house, but it can be a lot from the simple things like making sure your things are labeled properly to helping children when it's time to move. And joining us this morning on the various ways we can do that a lot better is Pete Ruffing. Hello. Thanks so much for being with us Good this morning. morning. Great to be here. All right, so what are the biggest challenges that you find? Well, we do a lot of local moves, but a lot of people don't realize we do long distance moves. So when we take people, it's one thing when you're taking them in the neighborhood here locally or uh -huh. on the first coast, but when we take folks out of state across the nation, it adds a whole nother dimension to the stress a move can have in the first place. So what we like to do is let people know, get your kids ready, especially for when you have family with small kids, mm -hmm. get them ready for the move. So what we recommend are two backpacks, one for the, the, the parents, to have snacks ready for them for those long drives across the nation and then anything that they might need from medication. What you don't want to do is not have this stuff in hand and, and packed on the truck because then it's impossible to get a hold of. Well, I can see why you might forget about that yep. stuff because you're so worried about the big possessions, sure. the furniture and all that, yep. but this is important for the, for yeah, the car ride. It, it makes it a lot easier. And then for the kids, you want to make sure they have their favorite blankets toys, all that kind of good stuff, which makes it very helpful for the drive. Well, and it can be unsettling for adults to move. Imagine what it's like for oh, the kids. So having comforts like that are You're important. absolutely right. It's hugely stressful. What do, you, what do you find are the biggest challenges that people have? Because sometimes when you're getting ready to move, you think, okay, I got this, I got this. And then you actually do it and you realize, wow, this is much tougher than I thought it would be. What's the biggest complaint? It's a, it's a great question. Uh, Pre-planning and thinking about what you need to do. I like to tell people, you know, eat the elephant one bite at a time. You know, take one room a few weeks out from your move, get it all packed up, get that ready. Don't wait till the last minute because, again, moves are stressful in the first mm -hmm. place. When you kind of wait till the last minute to get everything together and packed, it just sends it off the chart. Do you have any specific advice for people about labeling and how to group things when oh, they're putting sure. stuff in boxes? Yeah, it, it makes the move easier. It also helps them when they go to unpack it. Because a lot of times people will just want us to unload in their garage. So when they go out in the garage so you don't mm. make it a huge scavenger hunt, clearly mark it and that way you can just take it. And if we're taking it in the house, which we're happy to do, it's easier for our movers just to know right where they're going with the stuff. And it's probably better maybe to um, label according to room? You betcha. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier, and we do that all the time. It's a lot, it's, it makes for a, a smoother move, and it's very time efficient because the people, once we get there, they want us to unload and then get out of their way so they can start to unpack. All right, well, that's some great advice for a behemoth project that we've all been through, and I know I have friends talking about it's college kids nowadays and and people in their 20s are doing a lot of smaller moves but they're still stressful yep they are it doesn't <laughs> matter what size well we can learn more about two men in a truck by going to the website two men in a truck.com we've also made it easy for you and posted the link to our website newsforjacks.com just look on the morning show page and we'll be right back